Hi guys, and welcome to the official Portola YouTube channel. The quote for the week is, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing by Walt Disney. I'm Angelina, and today we have a special interview with a very important guest. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Good morning, my name is Mr. Lee, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Portola Middle School. Time for 12 questions with Mr. Lee. So first question, what's your job? So we have three assistant principals here. So I'm one of the three assistant principals and my main focus is working on attendance, making sure kids are in school and also instruction overseeing all of the professional development that teachers do. <clears throat> so those are my two main jobs, but I have other jobs as well. Did you plan on becoming an assistant principal? No, I started as a teacher many, many years ago. I really love teaching. I taught middle school first, and then I went up to high school. And then I became an assistant principal afterwards. Um, why did you decide to become an assistant principal? I thought after so many years of teaching, I could make a bigger difference in terms of working with a school. So I thought <clears throat> in the role as of an, an assistant principal, I could play a greater role. <clears throat> um, what else did you want to become when you got older? What else did I be want to become? Nothing really. I always liked teaching and I always liked being in the field of education. So. I don't recall wanting to become anything else. Okay. How many years have you been an assistant principal? Oh boy. So I've been an assistant principal for almost 15 years now. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how has your job changed since in-person school closure? Oh, that's been really, really difficult. Um, we do get to work uh, from home a few days a week. But when I'm home, I'm Zooming to go in and observe classrooms. And I think I actually came in to observe your classroom, didn't I, once last week? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that's my main job because I oversee instruction here at the school. So usually every day I go in to observe classrooms, see te how teachers are doing, and then I provide them feedback. Um, it's changed because obviously... It's really kind of tough not being able to interact and um, see kids on a daily basis. That's the reason why we went into teaching and education is to work with kids, interact with kids, um, have a good time, but right now we can't do much of that. So that's the biggest change. Yeah. Have you had any other jobs? If so, what were they? Well, Part-time, when I was a teacher, I taught, I was a professor at Santa Monica College, and I taught classes there at night. I did that for about six years, and I enjoyed doing that because it was different. It was um, teaching uh, adult, adults because they're college-age students. So what's your least favorite part of your job? <laughs> oh, the least favorite part of my job? <clears throat> Uh, turn, doing a lot of paperwork and turning in that paperwork. The district requires a lot of paperwork that we have to turn in and they give us a lot of deadlines <clears throat> and it's almost nonstop. So we do that so much. So that's like my least favorite part. Okay. So what's your favorite part of the job? Well, my favorite part used to be being out like during nutrition and lunch and being able to talk to the kids see how they're doing, um, interact. Um, I also like working with teachers because we have great teachers here at Portola. Um, the teachers here are very conscientious and I always like chatting with them and seeing how they're doing and seeing where I can help. Okay, so that's it for all the serious questions. Oh, okay. Now, let's time to get into our quirky question. So okay. are hot dogs considered sandwiches? Hot dogs considered sandwiches. Well, I guess technically, since there's bread and you have something in the middle of it, which is a hot dog, ketchup, 
mustard, relish. I would say yes, they are sandwiches. Okay, I agree with you. And uh, oh. what comes first, cereal or milk? Oh, I always pour my cereal in first <clears throat> because then that helps me determine how much milk I have to put in. So cereal first, milk second. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this one's kind of absurd, but would you uh, rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Uh, ooh. Well, I guess one duck, you can kind of watch what that one duck is doing, and so you can hopefully figure out that one duck, even though it's big. I would think that's easier than fighting a hundred horses, right, that are the size of duck. Yeah, because the hundred is a lot, and they can go all over the place, and um, yeah, I think you can get trouble with that. So I'll take the horse-sized duck. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> And I just got a message that um, I should probably read this week's reminder, so I'm gonna do that. Um, okay. So there's a competition going on and it's for mm -hmm. the YouTube banner making competition. And the okay. only requirements are that it has to be in the shape of a circle for the um, profile picture and the shape of a rectangle for the banner. And it has to have the school colors, which are blue and white, I think. White. <laughs> and yes. um, I think that's it. And there's also a Tuesday college shirt competition going on. So try to get your advisory teacher to sign up for that. And I believe that's all for the week. So Angelina, you. today is what day of the week? Um, Tuesday, yeah. And what am I wearing? Uh, oh yeah, it's college shirt day. <laughs> so I knew it was college shirt day, so I'm wearing my college shirt. This is where I went to school many, many years ago. So. I love that idea that you guys are trying to promote college. So great job. Yeah. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your three day weekend and mm -hmm. hope you're ready to get back to school. I know. I miss you guys and I hope we got we can hopefully sometime soon all come back together. Yeah. So okay, Angelina, thank you so much. Thank you, Stoey. Okay. Take care. We'll talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. Bye.